This is the Chinese cooking channel called Chinese Cooking Channel. Today we're making Chinese roast pork. You're gonna get the juicy roast pork with the crackling skin. So this is a simple recipe you can make at home. And this way you'll save lots of money. You don't have to buy it at a Chinese barbecue place or buy it at a fancy Chinese restaurant at inflated prices. So let's get started. For this recipe, we're using two and a half pound piece of pork belly which we put in the fridge for at least 24 hours. Here I have my own homemade tool made from a bent skewer to poke holes over the entire skin side of the pork belly. So you can use a fork, you can use a knife, or whatever you need to poke the holes. But I find the tenderizing tools don't produce a hole deep enough to help the crackling of the skin surface. So now I'm just going to put some salt on the surface. This will suck out the moisture. I'm going to use about a tablespoon of salt here. It's been over 15 minutes now. I'm just going to blot out the, uh, the moisture. So the salt should pick up the moisture. So when you blot out the uh, pork belly skin, you notice how much moisture there is. Not a lot, but there is moisture. So now I'm using a sharp knife. I'm just going to score the back where the meat is. So just uh, maybe an inch in between, inch and a half in between. And then score it the other way. So this uh, piece of roast pork has nice meat on the back side and not too much fat, but uh, you have fat in between the skin and the meat. So you need a good amount of fat to make a real good, nice roast pork. You don't want the meat to be too thin. So you can see uh, the meat is like basic as bacon. So you have a nice layer of meat with the fat, well marbled. And then now I'm just going to put the sauce on the back side. For the sauce, we're going to use this uh, Chinese barbecue sauce. So just put a one to two tablespoons. You should be able to cover the whole pork belly on the bottom there. Also, just use the uh, bean sauce without any extra ingredients. I've done that before. A lot of the uh, old style uh, Chinese barbecue pork, they just use the bean sauce on the bottom without any other ingredients. So you only need about two, one to two tablespoons of this uh, barbecue sauce or bean sauce. You can also use hoisin sauce if you like. So uh, this sauce is fairly salty. So if you put salt, put salt down, uh, you don't need too much salt. Some people like it saltier. So just rub the sauce on the bottom here. So it makes it easier just buy the barbecue sauce already made, but you can add uh, tomato sauce or ketchup, add a tablespoon or two. You can add some uh, five spice too if you like, add some salt, sugar. So, you know, try different combinations. So on some of my other roast pork uh, recipes, I use uh, different combinations of spices. Now I'm just going to put the roast part with the skin facing up. So we're going to put that into the oven. Put a cup of water underneath the rack. So now we're going to put the roast pork in the oven for 15 minutes. The rule of thumb is 20 minutes per pound. So I have two and a half pounds here. So 
uh, 50 minutes at 350 degrees. So it's been about 50 minutes and then uh, shut off the oven, put it on broil. It's going to be at 500 degrees for about 20 minutes. When you broil the pork belly on the top shelf, be sure to move it around to get even crackling on the skin. I find the top shelf works best to get the crackling skin. So it only took 15 minutes, so it usually takes 15 to 20 minutes. So just scrape off any uh, burn marks and let it cool for about 10 to 15 minutes. Okay. Ooh, yeah. Did it. <laughs> I'm always happy when it turns up. Oh, look at that, look at that. Look at this piece of roast pork. There you have it. Chinese roast pork that will impress your family and friends. Or just serve it for yourself for that special treat. Thanks for checking out my video. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And thanks for your continued support.